Welcome back everyone to the channel. Today I have an amazing video for you guys and today we're going to talk about the top three must-haves that you need for your bagger, performance bagger, or any motorcycle in general. Now, mind you, this is what I recommend after having three saddle sore 1000 mile patches. Today I'm on the turbo motorcycle today, and this one here has had two, not one, but two 1000 mile saddle sore patches already, and not including the ones that uh, I just didn't get the gas receipts for. With that being said, let's get to the video. Okay, so the first item on the list is your grips. Now, on this um, section here, I'm going to add the grips and the levers, right? Now, I'm doing that because, you know, I think it's very important to have both of them kind of match up to whatever riding style or comfort level you want to, right? So here, I have my first set of aftermarket... Uh, grips that i bought this one was the avon one and i really liked it it was really good as you can tell it's still it's still good and i had this one for about ten thousand miles ah oh, let me see no i'm sorry about fourteen thousand miles on this one here on this set and i liked it as you can see it's it's great the only problem i had was that it was just too too thick the other levers that i had before these were the uh, uh power stand racings the psr ones i had those for about seven thousand eh, about six thousand miles or so um initially i liked them a lot i have a video on that so go back and check out my videos initially i liked them a lot but the problem was that the adjustable knob like here it's, it's just like a it's a knob as well but it's just it's right here right it's within the um the lever here the psr ones it had the notch that came out so what happened was when i would um fully you know you know uh, uh squeeze it squeeze in the clutch i don't know if you can see here but it was hitting this housing here so what does it wasn't letting my clutch fully fully engage back as you can see with these oberon levers i actually didn't mention that i should mention that excuse me these are the oberon levers i was able to just squeeze it back and and i get no interference here so um so yeah so those are the clutch levers that i have now back to the grips right so this these here were a little bit just too thick and i went to uh i changed to these here which are the performance machine ones and i really like them like like look i hope it comes out in the video but look at the the the, the difference in the thickness between the performance machine grips and the avon grips. so they're both good it just depends what application you want you know what i'm saying and um so anyhow so i switched out my grips to the performance machines uh, these here now there's some wear here the other nice thing i like about these is that um basically you can just cut this uh, grip part out and just slide one on over and that's it you have new grip so i really really like that part of performance machine grip so and all of this is personal preference and again it's my experience off of 26,000 miles within um 17 months on this performance bagger here so to close out on the grip section of this video here again the grips are very important because it's your comfort level you know it's your first point of contact or one of your three points of contact which is your hands your butt and your feet the second must have for your performance bagger or bagger or motorcycle is a comfortable seat your seat has to be comfortable right i don't care if you do short distance or long distance riding like i do but the seat is probably out of the three things that i'm gonna cover that might be the most important thing i think in my opinion right because you gotta think your your whole weight is on your torso right and you put it on the seat here and then if you want to kind of maximize your comfort i got this backrest here right and i really like it on this seat on this setup right here i have i want to say let me see my motorcycle has 26,410 miles and i got it installed when it was you know i had maybe 500 miles so i got about 25 and a half thousand miles on this seat here within 17 months y'all so for me this it has been a super comfortable seat uh, it still looks new look I, I i you know it's still padded and i really really like it now the name of the company is called bad boys cycles if you are interested in this seat this is their freedom series seat it's actually a combo because it has um, the passenger one that that you can get here as well um 
and uh, you can just put it on and take it off. So I like to have like the single solo set up here. So I got the combo seat. If you're interested in this seat or other seats that they have there at badboycycles.com, use my code 2147CREW and that gives you 10% off of your complete and total purchase. So again, Bad Boy Cycles is the seat that I have. And I think I, I'm just gonna reiterate everybody, if you want comfort and you don't want back problems, you know, I'm a 45 year old man and it is what it is guys we, we you know we wear down we wear down so i like to have comfort as much as i can i rode it just most recently to um traveling talls run to the hills three a thousand miles there a thousand miles back and then a little bit of you know around tell the dragon and i even had some fun with it on the track so i definitely recommend this seat in terms of you're wondering um my size I am not six foot four, as you all might, might imagine, because of my stature, all right? I am a whopping five foot eight, 175 to 180 pounds. So that's my stature. My, my inseam, though, is like 32 inches, so I got kind of like longer legs, shorter torso, but anyways. So they have other options here if you want the longer reach version or the standard one, of which I have. The number three must have item for your performance bagger, bagger, or any motorcycle, in my opinion, are comfortable floorboards you know what i'm saying why floorboards well it really depends again this is all subjective it depends what you want but for my personal experience when i'm on those long road trips i like to have some more real estate you know what i'm saying i obviously took off the stock ones and uh, i like to have more real estate i like to be able to have my foot go further up or back and just chill out you know what i'm saying i know a lot of people put them on the uh, rear foot pegs your feet, rear foot pegs just to kind of you know just stretch out your legs or, or just give yourself a little bit more flex there here we are on the other side on the turbo side if you will of my performance bagger so these um floorboards are made by trask as you can see they're basically cnc machined and oh look i got a <laughs> i got some uh, um some uh, scrapes there I, I probably got more on the other side too but anyhow so these are Trask and I really, really like them a lot. And because I have the turbo, they kind of come out to the side a little bit just to give my leg a little bit more, more space for the turbo. Oh, that sounded good, whatever that was. Anyhow, so these are the ones that I have from Trask. I have no problem with them and I like the real estate that they have, you know. Actually, just on a side note, has nothing to do with this video, but I'm gonna get these powder coated gold to match my swing arm along with these. So let me know, I, I think, if what y'all think? I think it's gonna look good. Anyhow, so these are the floorboards I had. I used to have, before these floorboards, I used to have the other ones from Harley Davidson. And man, what is the name of them? Damn. You guys saw them because I had them there, but what is the name of them? I just can't remember. All right, everybody, this GoPro died. So because it got too hot, so I'm just gonna talk to this camera here. So anyhow, they were very, very, I hope you can hear me on this camera, by the way. They were very, very narrow towards the back. So when I was trying to get my foot back to, um, to just kind of like, you know, have more real estate, be more comfortable doing my rides, it, uh, it kind of didn't work out for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why I went with these Trask ones and I really like them a lot. So if you want Trask performance stuff, they're really, really good. If you're a military veteran, you get 10% off your whole purchase with the exception, I believe, of the turbo kits. But give them a call, talk to my man, Eric, and they'll definitely take care of you. And if not, they'll answer every single one of your questions. All right, everybody, that does it for today's video. I hope you really, really like it. Again, these are the top must-haves, in my opinion, for your performance bagger, your bagger, or any motorcycle in general. This is the end of the video. I'm gonna throw in some drone shots in here with some music. So again, nothing but love and respect to all of y'all. Please don't forget to give this video a good big old like and a comment, even if it's just a little thumbs up as a comment, and of course, subscribe. So to the next video, y'all be good.